Hey everybody, this is Chris Sev here. Today in this video, I have 20 VS Code themes for you, 10 which are more of the popular themes you've probably seen around, and there are 10 lesser known themes which maybe you haven't seen. So let's get straight to it. We are in VS Code, we have the default theme enabled right now. Really decent theme, it's got a dark, it's okay. So let's start moving through the best themes and we'll sort them by number of installs, or I guess you could call that popularity. The first one that we're gonna have is if we go into our command palette with Command Shift P, we search for color theme, we can search for One Dark Pro. And I believe this is probably the most popular VS Code theme, most installed, and for good reason. It, the good looks, it has great colors, everything kind of pops a little bit better. If I scroll down, you can go to One Dark Flat, where it's a little bit less prominent colors, and there's darker, which gives it a bit of a darker background. It's a great theme, but again, one of the most installed. So if you want something else, maybe something a little bit more unique, let's keep moving. Number two is Dracula. So I'll go to color theme, Dracula. It has a purple tint to it. Very nice theme, very popular, um, really unique in it actually exudes Dracula in nighttime. The number three theme is, let's go to color theme, Adam One Dark. Very really similar to One Dark Pro, I think. Does great with the symbols and colors of the symbols. Scroll down, does great with just markup in general. So very good theme. Again, it does look like One Dark Pro and probably a pretty common theme. So let's go to the next one. We are gonna look at GitHub theme. These are GitHub inspired. There's GitHub Dark, but if you GitHub pretty well, you probably are expecting the light version. And this, look at that, so bright, is probably the light theme that I would jump for if I wanted to go for a light theme. Very nice. There's dark dimmed as well and light default. So definitely check those out. Good themes. The next one is by John Papa. It is Winter is Coming. This is a cool one because it gives a blue tint and it's just fun overall. If we go to dark blue, you can see that there's a blue tint in the background, blue all over here. My problem with this is that some of the symbols aren't as legible as the other themes we've seen so far. They don't pop like this export default function next video. It's all the same color. So great theme if you want that blue hue to it. Next up is by Sarah Drasner. The theme is called Night Owl. Again, very night inspired theme, as its name suggests. It's, I think it inspired the John Papa theme, Winter's Coming, that came before it with that blue background. So there's Night Owl Light. Uh, very good theme. Really cool, especially for nighttime. Next up, Monokai Pro. This is one that I have been using for a while. Let's install it. I didn't have that installed. We'll enable it. Monokai Pro. And the cool thing about Monokai Pro is that if I go to color theme, Monokai Pro, there are different filters as they all had, but there's a blue one. Octagon is purple-ish. Spectrum is darker and Ristretto is a little bit of a brown tint, hard to tell. But Monokai Pro is a paid font. So uh, just keep that in mind if you are interested in it. It is one of my favorite fonts. Next up is by Ahmad Awais, Shades of Purple. You've probably seen this around. Very iconic, very purple, uh, really fun theme. Uh, a little bit much on the purple for me. And again, not too many differentiators for most of the symbols since they all are using this light blue or the orange. So we'll move on from there. We'll go to West Boss's theme, Cobalt 2. Cobalt 2 is very yellow, blue theme -y. I like it. Again, not the biggest differentiators of the symbols. So for me, not my go-to, but fantastic theme. Definitely check it out. And the 10th of the most popular VS Code themes is going to be material theme. And I think I did that wrong. Color theme, let's go for material theme. And there are all sorts of different color styles. There's ocean, darker, lighter, pale night, so definitely check all those out. I think a lot of those are pretty similar in my book, aside from the background. The symbols 
which all the words they blend in together. So not my favorite there. All right, so that is the 10 most popular ones that you've probably seen around the web. But the next 10, maybe you haven't seen, and I'm actually, my daily driver is in this list of 10 for 10 lesser known VS Code themes. So in this batch, number one or number 11 overall is going to be Pale Knight. Very similar to the night themes in the first 10. You get that purple, you get that blue, cool. Here's Synthwave, which is number 12. I really like this one. It's a little bit too much of a pop on the blues for me. The contrast is a little strong, but really fun with the colors, the orange, the purple, the red, and the light blue. Number 13 on this list is Nord. Nord. Very nice muted theme. If you want a muted theme that's just gets out of the way and gets you to coding. But for me, again, not too much differentiation on the symbols. So let's keep moving. Number 13, number 14 is color theme, Panda. So this one with that pink theme, Panda, really cool colors here. I dig it a little bit strong on these symbols right here with that light teal-ish. But overall, I like the pop of color a little bit more than the previous Nord. So very nice. Next up, number 15 is Tokyo Night. Again, another night theme. There's actually a lot of night themes on this list. So cool night theme. Again, purple and blue, dark inspired. Number 16 here is Rain Glow. A lot of different colors in Rain Glow. Let's see. A lot of different colors in Rain Glow. So definitely click through. The cool thing about VS Code is you get this live check theme preview. Overall, pretty good colors. I think a lot of them don't really have the contrast of the symbols again. So let's keep moving. All right, this next one is my daily driver so far, and I really like it. I've been using it for about two weeks now. Color theme is Moonlight. And if you look at Moonlight 2, it's muted. It has that nighttime theme, but I do get a little bit of differentiation on the symbols. So you can see there's a purple here. Instead of having all that be the same color, you get the orange, the green. There's just enough differentiation for me that I think it's really easy to read the different values. So Moonlight 2, very nice. The next one is number 17, Horizon. So here's Horizon. You get a different color scheme than we've seen before. Less on the blue side, more on this red kind of maroon color. Really nice with the purples. Good theme. Next up is Bearded theme. There's a few of these. Bearded, Void, Earth. Love the naming here. Altica, Oceanic. Solarize, so really good colors there. I like how they're a little bit more muted, except for this vivid one. Arc Eggplant, that one's really nice, actually. EOL Storm, also really nice. Black and gold. EOL Storm's not bad. I like that one. Maybe I'll move the, that one. And then the last one we have on the list is a fun one. It is going to be called Cyberpunk. And you definitely get that cyberpunk feel. You got that neon green. You got those purples and uh, a little bit of that pink in there. And if you go to the extension page, they do a great job of showing it off, especially with the borders you get on that command palette with that green. Let's try it out. Command palette. Oh, we don't get those. Oh, that's IntelliSense. Let's go see. There we go. Really nice colors and borders there. Super fun. So there you have it. There's 10 of the most popular that you've seen before probably and 10 of the lesser known themes and altogether 20 fantastic VS Code themes. I think I may switch to that bearded theme EOL Storm. Maybe. Let me know in the comments if you like this video and we'll see you in the next one.